I'm sorry to come to you like this, but I really need the money. Everyone needs the money. If you didn't, you wouldn't be talking, would you? late. Yes, sir. How's your wife? She's still not talking to me. With good reason, I assume. I'm sure she has her reasons. Why are you late? My car, it, it ran out of gas. And... No! Why are you late? Four months, right? That was the agreement. Yes, sir. I need another extension. Another extension? Four months. That was our agreement. And I have given you three extensions from the bottom of my heart. And now your four months and three weeks are out, and I need my money. One more extension, and you'll have it back. I'll have it back? How much money do you have? Pathetic. I didn't ask you. Learn your place, boy. I don't need to take this from some lackey. A lackey? Enough. Show some respect. Why isn't your wife here? Excuse me? Enough. Did she get tired of her impotent prick? Enough! Sorry, sir, I got Shut up. Away. Sir. Quiet. I can't believe you. You come to me in your time of need and asking me for money that you knew had a price. You gave me your case and I took pity on you. You, a man with no future, no lover, and no hope except for me. And I gave you all you needed to fix your life, and you screwed it up. Now look at you. You're sitting there inches away from me, and you don't have a dime. I've dealt with people like you, and you're all the same. You're a dog running in a circle chasing his tail. You chase this pathetic goal that you already had. But you know what? No matter how much you chase that goal, you will always end up at square one. But I'm a reasonable man, and I'm going to offer you a choice. You can kill for me until I have every dime of that money, or until you're dead. Or you can leave now and start running, but I warn you, we will hunt you down and we will kill you, and believe me, it will hurt you. Your choice. Choose to live. We're on choice. 